There's moves to ban plastic drinking straws from tool boats operating on the Great Barrier Reef in a bid to save marine animals and stop pollution. The campaign comes amid alarming new research showing there is a link between plastics and disease in corals. Sip, don't suck. It's a message that's gaining momentum in a bid to help save the Great Barrier Reef. The straws are something that people don't really think twice about using. They just get one in their drink and don't think about the environmental impacts and the fact that that straw will actually outlive them. Australians use about 10 million straws each day, which often end up in the bellies of sea turtles. Now more than 30 reef tourism operators in far north Queensland have made the pledge to go straw free as part of a new campaign. Together we can make a tide of difference to reduce pollution. We thought that banning straws was uh, a good practical step, something that we could do quite quickly, something that wouldn't uh, be difficult to do but, but meant a lot to the health of the reef. Plastic is not only responsible for the deaths of sea creatures, it's also killing coral. Corals that are in contact with plastic have an 89% likelihood of having disease compared to just 4% of disease in the corals that didn't have the plastic waste touching them. It's estimated there's more than 11 billion pieces of plastic rubbish on coral reefs in the Asia Pacific and researchers say that's going to increase by 40% in the next seven years. Disposable plastic straws are among the worst offenders. That's why we're being asked to go reusable. The campaign will move to the Whit Sundays next month. Christy Sexton-McGrath, ABC News, Cairns.